Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. Luke 24 36 43. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see, a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Today's title is Peace Be With You. People all over the world are restless these days. Coronavirus is threatening every corner of the globe. People are becoming more and more alarmed and scared as they look at the skyrocketing numbers of infected people. Everybody fears if and when the virus would infest them. In the midst of this global and personal crisis, the only thing that gives me peace is the name of Jesus. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ must have turned the world upside down and made the disciples restless as we are now. Jesus raised the dead Lazarus not far from ago. The whole city of Jerusalem went ecstatic at the unprecedented miracle. But in a few days, Jesus gave himself up to the lawless to be crucified. He died and was buried. The hope and dream of all the disciples seemed to have died with him too. Then, the reports of Jesus rising up from the grave began coming through. Soldiers of the chief priests were saying that someone stole his body. The disciples didn't know what to believe. At the very moment Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you. Peace be with you in fact, is one of the most frequently used words by the risen Lord. Why? Jesus knew that the disciples were still broken-hearted and frightened. They weren't sure if Jesus has really risen again. And they didn't know what it meant to them if he has indeed risen. Finding answers to those questions starts with restoring peace in their mind. With peace, comes the assurance of the resurrection. And with the assurance of resurrection, comes the knowledge that his resurrection is for us. Do you have this peace that the risen Lord proclaimed to the disciples? The peace that the Lord proclaimed was for us too. He knows that we will be frightened and restless as we are now. Not only he proclaimed peace, he is our peace. He has broken down every wall of fears. You can cast all your cares on him and enjoy peace in him. Amen.